Hello there. So, going to show you how to use GeoGebra to perform a reflection by hand. This app here, you're going to be focusing in on these four tools. Step one, we're going to use the polygon tool to create a shape. You can make a triangle, a square, a pentagon, your choice. Then we're going to next use the line tool here. This will create a line of reflection next to your polygon in which you're going to reflect the pre-image across the line to create an image. Then you're going to click on this reflection tool here. Then click on your shape and then click on the line. And that will automatically produce the image on the other side of the line. After that you can click on the, ref the selection tool to move your line of reflection around or move your polygon around to see what happens. So in order to get to GeoGebra, you might need to scroll down a little bit from your CK12 section 2.5, about one-sixth of the way down. By the way, this is a quick stop. Um, if you hover over the word reflection, you can see how we're going to go about creating this image from a pre-image. So please take a couple 30 seconds to watch this animation to get an idea. Okay, and then we'll stop at the interactive GeoGebra reflection. Click on try it. Okay, the, you might need to revisit the instruction again. You may push pause and uh, go over the explanation again or just jump into creating a reflected, reflected image. Okay, so we're going to first create a triangle in quadrant one in which you're going to reflect it across the line y equals negative x as you can see here. Okay, so let's work on this example together. So click on your polygon tool and then we're going to use your mouse, create a rectangle in quadrant one like this, triangle ABC. Okay, and then this one is to create a line of reflection. Okay, so click on that and then let's make a line. If you make a mistake, you can undo. Let's say the line y equals negative x. Okay, this is a line DE which slant downward to your right, so it has a negative slope. Okay, so to find the reflection tool, the trick is to move the slider a little bit to your right. And then there it is. This is the reflection tool here. Click on it. Now to use this tool, you click on your shape, the triangle ABC. Okay, click it right in the center. And then now click on the line DE, okay? Away from the point DE. So click anywhere on the line other than the point, the two points there. And then magically, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime appears in quadrant three. 
So next you can click on the selection tool. You may move the line of reflection around to see how the image relocates to a different position. You may also click on the pre-image here. As you can see, the reflected image changes accordingly. So that's how you can use the GeoGebra to reflect a line by hand, reflect an image by hand. Okay, feel free to rewind if you miss a step and for your wrap-up question you asked to recreate this image here in G GeoGebra your job is to determine where that line of reflection might be and then you're going to create this image below okay so here's a hint you've got triangle ABC in which you're going to reflect across the line of reflection to produce triangle A prime B prime C prime okay so give it a try and take a screenshot of your work and submit it in Google Classroom good luck you guys